And I remember another story, Joe, that we kind of bonded over a couple of years ago, which was the the student that was really struggling in uh, fr- in entry yeah. level chemistry. Yeah, and. I mean, I can. I, I think anybody who's been through chemistry can empathize with that. The first time you're doing, you're going through physical chemistry, and you're trying to balance the chemical equations, and and this this kid is dying, and they think the problem is I'll never. It's chemistry. Pro, the problem is chemistry. And you came in and said, no, actually, the problem is fractions. You didn't master fractions in third grade or fourth grade or whenever fractions are introduced, and you're failing chemistry because you did you for this exact yeah. reason we're going to go back and fill the gap in chem in, in fractions yeah. and this will become easy for you and of course that's what happened yeah. and math science knowledge is hierarchical right yep, yep. and this is back to mastery which is we've why we do poorly we've given up mastery in this country why um we're a time based system right at the end of third grade you're moving to fourth grade and at the end of fourth grade, you're moving to fifth grade. And we don't hold kids back. We don't, we just, we've said, we're just going to move kids through no matter what. Um, cause it's time. Cause there's all these other social issues, right? And, you know, oh my God, I can't have my kid hold back the pressure on the school to relax the standards. You know, 80% of kids at Harvard get an A now. You know, it's just grade inflation. You know, grades look like this. Yep. Standardized test scores look like that, right? And it's just, we've just got, and for whatever reasons, we've done it. But in a time-based system, you know, and here's part, just even grading. You know, there's this concept that, you know, okay, you got a 70, you know, you can pass, an 80 is a B, right? That's great. Okay, my kid's a B student, 80. The problem is, you know, if you only have 80%, you know, knowledge, you're creating all these holes and it all compounds where eventually, and it starts to when you hit algebra or chemistry, right, that... You're, you think it's the current material, yep. but it's your prereqs. It's right? your it's foundation. The, it's your foundation. And, you know, we talk a lot about parents because a lot of this is, you know, we all grew up in this time-based system and just the old system. And so this new way is very different. But the best analogies we always use that parents totally understand is sports, right? Just like game film. We're like, yep. review your test, figure out what's wrong. Mastery is the same one, you know, which is if you're the point guard and you lose the ball 20% of the time going down the court – the coach isn't like, let's work on the advanced stuff. They're like, kid, let's learn how to dribble. Okay, we, don't, right? we don't need to worry about dunking yet. Correct. Yeah. No dunking. Like, let's focus on, right? Get up to 99%. Get to mastery that you know how to do the basics. Everybody in sports is like, if you're not doing well, go back and do the basics. Well, academics is the same way. And if you apply that same logic, right? But in a time-based system with a teacher in front of a classroom, right? You can't get every kid to mastery, right? And that's when we get into like the new solutions and and why we get these crazy, you know, kids can learn 10 times faster. It's because we're able to get out of a non-mastery, non-time-based system or a a non-mastery time-based system that has a teacher in front of a classroom, right? Teachers are great. Teacher in front of the classroom is bad, you know, that, that dynamic. And so, uh, but and to your point, hierarchical, you know, chemistry is just algebra with advanced word problems, right? Physics is yep. literally calculus with yep. advanced word problems. Ke- you know, algebra is basically advanced fraction manipulation. You can give kids a fraction test and predict their algebra score, right? And then fractions are, how's your division and multiplication tables? Do you memorize them to fluency? And so it just keeps going down the whole track, you know, all the way down. And so part of what you have to do to fix the system right, is figure out age grade. Oh, wait, I'm an eighth grader in algebra. And knowledge grade, wait, I don't know my fractions are different. And so, you know, what a a teacher in the front of a classroom, though, it's not their fault, right? I'm a teacher. I'm an eighth grade teacher. What do you teach? Eighth grade material. Yeah. And I have kids who don't who who don't who, who don't know some third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh material. What do I do? Right. And this is why, you know, and um, so many people hire tutors, you know, after school at private schools. Right. There's you know, it's crazy. We have all these people go to private schools and hire after school tutors because the school doesn't teach them. And, you know, the tutors just like, okay, I'm going to go give you the earlier grade level material. That's it. Um, When we talk about kids, all these hundreds of kids coming in who are, you know, three years behind, seven years behind. The second part of what I tell the parents is that's freaking you out because nobody wants their kid this far behind. But 
it's so easy to fix. The remediation on this stuff is no time at all. That when you use these, you know, learning science-based AI tutors and the apps that we have, kids can learn 10 times faster, 10 times faster. So when you actually look at material, there's 180 school days, right? Hour a day plus homework. So a couple hundred hours. Most of grade that one subject, right, per grade level takes our alpha kids between 20 and 30 hours to finish an entire grade level to mastery. So you can take fourth grade math and be like, you got 26 hours, kid. You do an hour a day of homework, you're 26 days away, right? 22 hours is seventh grade and sixth grade, 22 each, right, for math. And Joe, would this work if, and again, as just as a yeah. thought experiment, if each student had one teacher, the private tutor, yeah. if you could put a private tutor in front of a student for 22 hours over the course of, you know, whatever, yeah. two months or one hour a day for 26 days, are you confident that that individual, and of course we'll talk about why that's not practical, but right. that, that, that individual, if skilled enough, could navigate and weave that child through? If you give me... A few more hours than what I just gave you, because yeah. the AI can do a little bit better okay. than 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 most tutors. But yes, fundamentally, the paper that was written when I was in high school about education, like so, learning science, and we didn't, you know, learning science has been around for forty years. They've been writing papers. There's ten thousand papers published by all the schools of education, and you know, Stanford, and you know, all over the place. That is, we know kids can learn two, five, or ten times faster. Right? We've known it in, you know, Blue's two sig Bloom's Two Sigma is a seminal paper. And he just said, if everybody got a personalized tutor, was his first point. And second, they did it to mastery. They worked to mastery. Right, so mastery-based, not tenure-based. Correct. Just you have to know the material before you advance. Yep. And there's an individual tutor to coach you. You will get Two Sigma better performance which is, right, your leftmost part of your curve, your worst students are gonna be at what today is considered the top 10% in a two sigma performance. I'm Peter Atia. This podcast relies exclusively on premium subscribers for support, which allows us to provide all our content without taking a single penny from advertisers. I believe this keeps my content honest, making it a trusted resource for listeners like you. As a premium member, you'll get immediate access to our entire back catalog of AMA episodes and all future AMA episodes. You'll get longevity-focused premium articles packed with actionable insights. You'll get unrivaled show notes for each and every episode of The Drive, every topic, every study, every resource from each episode carefully curated for you. You'll get quarterly podcast summaries where you'll learn my biggest personal takeaways from the previous 90 days of expert guest episodes and much more. This journey doesn't have to be navigated alone. We can take these steps towards a better, longer life together. Become a premium member today at peteratiamd.com forward slash subscribe to join me in a shared commitment to a healthier future.